morning, everyone. How are you all doing? How did your week go? It is so great to see all of you today. We are on our last lesson in our series called True Love. And it's talking about some of the major qualities of a godly love. But before we close this series, let's have a game! How many of you remembered our game last Sunday? Great! We can't get over yet of that emoji challenge last Sunday, so we thought of doing that today. It's a little tricky game, but just remember to watch the video, listen carefully to the instructions, and pay full attention. Kids, are you ready? Let's go and play the game! Hey everyone, it's time to play a game. Now here's the best part, you can do it right where you are. It's really easy, all you need are your hands. Put up your left hand, and this is how it's going to go. All you have to do is follow what you see on the screen. On your screen, you're going to see an emoji that looks like this. Now, make your hand look like that. Yeah, okay, yeah, you got it. Now try this one. Perfect. So what's going to happen in just a second is we're going to put a few emojis on the screen and you have to make your hand match the emoji that's highlighted. At the end, if you've matched all the emojis perfectly, you win. You ready to try it? Alright, let's try it. Get ready. One, two, one, two, three, go. All right, how'd it go? Uh, you think you did good? All right, I say we do it one more time, all right? That was just a warm-up round. Shake your hands out. Shake them out, nice and good. Okay, Whew. it's time, you ready? Let's try it. One, two, one, two, three, go. How was that time? You feel better about it? Okay, we're going to try it one more time. Get ready. This one's going to be the most fun. Here we go. One, two, three, go. You think you did better this time? It is so fun playing with you, boys and girls. Great job. Give yourselves a big thumbs up. Okay, kids. In front of you are five different things. We have rock, a remote control, a flower, a cute little teddy bear. We have our favorite thing, the Bible. Would you please help me rate from one to five, with five being the item that will last the longest. Okay, here are my results. I will rank number one for the least that will last is the flower the number two is the teddy bear number three is the bible because it's made of paper and it can be easily torn and number four is the remote control and my number five the item for me that will last the longest is this rock. Did you see that? So my number five is rock. Although some items will last much longer than others, nothing still lasts forever. Even the physical Bible and the rock will eventually turn into dust. But there is something that will last forever. And that is God's love. In today's lesson, we will learn that true love 
a kind of love that comes from God will last forever, no matter what will come or happen. Let's go ahead and check our Bible verse. Hello and good morning, everyone. Are you ready for a Bible verse? Great. Let's look at our theme verse for this month. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 7. Today, we're going to focus on the last part. It says, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7. Would you say that with me this time, kids? Ready? Go! It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7. It is always great to learn verses from the Bible because Bible is God's Word. And if it is God's Word, then it is powerful. You're right, kids. God's Word is powerful. So can we say our verse one last time? Okay, here we go. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7. Great job, everyone! It's time to worship Jesus. Let's give Him all our love through singing and dancing. So make sure you have enough space to move around. Let us get our hearts and minds ready to worship our loving God. Would you stand to your feet and raise your hands like this to Jesus? And let us pray this together. God, we welcome your presence today. Have your way in us. All the static, all the noise, can't compete with your beat. Tuning in to your voice, it's your love on repeat. Shout it out, tell the world I found a meaning. Can't be quiet anymore, you're the song I'm singing. Can you hear, can you hear it?
Wherever I go, you're always there Every time I fall, you catch me And when I hide, you hold me tight And remind me who I am No hide, no death Could take us from your love No lie, no death Could undo what you've done The future and the past are yours My life is in your hands And all these things I know Your love reminds me who I am forever. Hello there boys and girls. Good morning. It's Bible time. Many verses in the Bible tell us this, such as 1 Chronicles 16 verse 34. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. But nowhere is it so clear as in Psalm 136 where the phrase his love endures forever, appears 26 times. Our scripture is in Psalm 136 verses 1 to 26. As we read the scripture today, you can respond in unison to the second part of each verse. His love endures forever. Psalm 136 verses 1 to 26. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To Him who alone does great wonders. His love endures forever. Who by His understanding made the heavens. His love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters. His love endures forever. Who made the great lights. 
His love endures forever. The sun to govern the day. His love endures forever. The moon and stars to govern the night. His love endures forever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt. His love endures forever. And brought Israel out from among them. His love endures forever. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm. His love endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder. His love endures forever. And brought Israel through the midst of it. His love endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea. His love endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness. His love endures forever. To him who struck down great kings. His love endures forever. And killed mighty kings. His love endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites. His love endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan. His love endures forever. And gave their land as an inheritance. His love endures forever. An inheritance to his servant Israel. His love endures forever. He remembered us in our low estate. His love endures forever. And freed us from our enemies. His love endures forever. He gives food to every creature. His love endures forever. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the God, God of heaven. heaven. His, His love, love endures, endures forever. forever. What were some of the things created by God that were mentioned in the first part of this passage? The heavens, earth, waters, light, sun, moon, and stars. What were some ways that God protected His people that were mentioned in the middle part of this passage? God saved them from the death of their firstborn brought them out of Egypt, divided the Red Sea, and struck down kings. What were some ways God provided His people that were mentioned in the last part of this passage? Yes, you are right. Gave land as an inheritance, gave freedom, and gave food. All right, here's my last question. Because the love of God endures forever, what should we give? We give thanks. One Kid's Treasure A story about one young man's discovery about everlasting love. One day, Andy came home from school and sat down gloomily in the living room. His father was in his favorite chair, reading the paper when he turned to look with concern towards Andy. Andy, why the long face? he asked. Not looking at him, Andy replied, My teacher said we have to bring something of value to class for show and tell this week. Dad, it's terrible. The only thing I own that's valuable is my old rusty bike. I don't want to bring that. Everyone at school already laughs at me. Well, it's not that old or rusty. And you need it to go to school. You don't want to throw it away, do you? His father asked. No, but I have an idea. How about a new one? My 10th birthday is coming up and that can be my birthday gift in advance. Then I can show everyone in school that I have a new bike. Hmm, I have a better idea, said his father. I'll go ahead and give you your advance gift. How's that? But it's not a bike. He motioned Andy to follow him with a look of excitement on his face. Come with me to the barn. Andy jumped off the chair with anticipation. Oh, Dad, you are so cool. Hurry, I'll meet you there. And off he ran. At the barn, Andy saw nothing new. Just the same old rusty tools hanging on the walls. He was so disappointed, tears started flowing from his eyes. Son, don't cry. I have something for you. 
His dad walked over to the farthest wall and took down an old, odd-looking shovel and gave it to Andy. Dad, how could you? This is the oldest thing on planet Earth. He complained as he threw the shovel on the ground and then started to cry again. Andy, please listen to me. If you come with me, I promise you have something great for show and tell. Andy dried his tears with his sleeve and went with his dad to a remote area of the farm. His dad started to dig in the ground. Sometimes Andy helped. They dug and dug as the minutes turned into hours. The sun had nearly gone down for the day before the digging stopped. And that night, the light in Andy's bedroom stayed on until the wee hours of the morning. A few days later, Andy walked into his classroom carrying that very old shovel and a small wooden box. The other children were carrying their valuables too. Fluffy teddy bears, porcelain dolls, boxes of baseball cards, sports uniform, coin collections. Someone even brought a brand new Nintendo GameCube. Everyone seemed to give Andy a snickering look. Finally, the show and tell time started. The children were all in attention and you could hear all the oohs and ahs. Then it was Andy's turn. He began speaking. Next Monday is my 10th birthday and my dad gave me my most precious gift. He held up a shovel as he continued. This shovel is more than 150 years old. Suddenly, the classroom became really quiet with all eyes fixed on the shovel. Andy, is that a shovel for a treasure hunt? Do you have gold with you? One of the classmates asked. With that, the kids walked up front to get a closer look. No, I don't have gold, but something better. Andy said as he took out a small Bible, a few photographs, some old rusty trinkets, and a bunch of letters. This is a very old Bible, dating back to the 1700s. That's more than 300 years ago. It originally belonged to my great, 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 and many more great grandfather. It has the names of the sons of every generation and now has my name too. The little trinkets are toys from when each one was a little kid. And these are letters from each of their fathers. You see, generation after generation, each father gave this shovel to his son to dig out the same treasures. The family history is the treasure that each son receives on his 10th birthday. Let me read my grandfather's letter to my dad. Son, this treasure may not be gold in your eyes, but as you grow older and wiser, I pray that it becomes your most prized possession. As you can see, these letters give you a glimpse of our history about the fathers and sons in each generation of our family. Touching these items and reading these letters, you will know how much care, and love there is in our family. Now it is my turn to write to you. Just like you, I dug this treasure with my father when I was a young boy. And I was also kind of disappointed at first. But after I realized how much I was loved by all the fathers of each generation, this old box and what is inside became my golden treasure. It gave me memories that I will never forget. When you read this Bible, although the pages are all well worn, you will find a message that is beautiful and strong. It will keep your path straight as you grow older. I hope you keep this in your heart as I did and the fathers did before me. Most of all, as you read through these letters, about my love and their love 
May God touch your heart to help you to give this same treasure to your own son on his 10th birthday. I know these things are old, but they are gold to me. And he concluded with a slight tear in his eyes. Then he took his box and sat down. When the show and tell was over, the teacher addressed the class. All right, class. Thank you everyone for such a wonderful show and tell time. You can now all get up and look at each other's treasure. As the kids got up from their chairs, the teacher started towards Andy's box to take a look inside. Suddenly, she stopped. There inside the box, she saw a sign in Andy's handwriting that read, Valuable. Please don't touch. We have often hear it said that nothing lasts forever. But that is just not true. The love that comes from Jesus does last forever. But how can we show this to others? How can we give a love that is forever? The answer is quite simple. Whatever we do on this earth has an everlasting effect. The world changes because of what we do. If we live a life full of love, the changes we start will reflect that love. The love will spread to others. And because they felt that love, they too will spread more love. And that love will spread again and again. The effect will be everlasting. Let us pray together now. As we pray, let us thank God for His everlasting love. Let us also think of the ways we can share His love to others. Let us pray. Dear God, your mighty power is everlasting. Your love endures forever. Let our life be full of praise and worship for you, my Lord. No matter what we are, no matter who we are, and no matter what we are doing, let the love of your Son, Jesus, be present in us. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. jealous anytime it's not proud and it's not rude love forgives and speaks the truth oh yeah love will never fail oh yeah love will never fail love protects it does not break it doesn't easily get mad love is hopeful and it trusts when we love we never give up oh Bless you all and see you next Sunday.